How's it going toy lovers? Todd here and I was just going to do a quick video on the Action Force figures that have been shipped out and everybody's getting them in hand. Uh, a lot of them, the uh, $22 um, figures that come with just uh, three sets of extra hands, an extra head, and a stand. Uh, they don't come with weapons. The two pistols are from a weapons pack. But I just wanted to do a quick video because the these figures are coming out with tight joints. Um, you know, Bobby sent a... Um, he's done videos and then he sent a, a sheet out explaining the tight joints to use a hair dryer or warm water to loosen them up. It's the truth. Every, all these figures had tight joints. Um, I've only broken one hand. It was from one of the Steel Brigade trying to get, because um, a lot of them come with the, the fist hands locked in, and they are very, very tight. I've handled thousands of figures over 15 years of collecting, you know, 1 6th scale, 1 12th, 1 18th. Um, these are some of the, probably the tightest figures I've gotten out of package. Um, but yeah, if you hit them, i just been hitting them with the blow dryer. Um, the Steel Brigade ones, I was... Just lazy watching some TV and not hitting them with the blow dryer and just trying to pop the hands off and just snapped it. And the posts stayed in. So I had to get some tools and hair dryer and it just took me longer. But I just wanted to show you one that and then I wanted to show you how on all figures these come with the um, extended trigger finger. And I just wanted to show a way like I, when I'm putting the guns, I, I put the hand in the weapons and first, and then I apply them to the, I pop them into the figures, arm, wrist joint. And with these, because some of the figures we get, the hands are flexible. These aren't, they're tight. They're really tight. You do have to heat them up. So I just wanted to show a quick trick. Maybe everybody knows it, but I just like to see videos too on how to do stuff, make it easier from, for you. So I'm going to turn this on. We'll get his, um, I'll do first is I'll get the gun, the weapons. So I'm going to take the hand I want. I'm going to warm it up. Now it's very pliable. Now look at that. It's all soft. Moves easy. Before it was not moving at all. Then you just turn it a little bit. Swing that finger right in there. It's gripping the pistol. Got the one done. And this is the same for the long rifles. Um, they can be a little, little trickier because they have the stock coming out. Or they might have something else in the way. But for the most part... They're just as easy. So I'm going to do the other one. Have this guy up too. And you just turn it a little bit. And then once that finger is lined up, you just turn it in to place. Again, the pistols are a lot easier than long guns. So now, like I said, these are tight, tight joints. I mean, you can totally tell. So it's good to heat them up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the hands up, taking those off. And then I'm using this um, non-slip. It's one of those grip things you can get. This that goes in the bottom of cupboards and whatnot. See how hard that is? I mean, on a lot of figures, you can just pop them off without the hair dryer. These are in there. Those are really in there. So 
And again, I was trying to pull them off without heating them up and the uh, post here, or that broke right there. So that was fun trying to dig that out. All right, pop those in. Good to go, now he's got his weapons. Um, and then another one is the stands. What's cool is he gives us stands, which is super awesome. Um, again, they're very tight. And I found it almost nearly impossible to get those on. So what I've been doing is heat, just heating up the holes here on the feet to pop those in. Okay, you're softening that plastic up and then you can just uh, it goes over these pegs just like that and if you don't soften these up uh, it takes a lot longer to try to force them on and I've done a few and you can't I was not able to get any of them flush like that not even close maybe halfway down so kind of a little pain but that what's awesome is they're tight that stand's not going anywhere you know you can pose your figure whichever way you want and uh we have stands as you can see all the figures in the back uh these guys are the um i don't think i have a box sitting here or do i oh yeah maybe i do let's see i might have one yeah so these are the, these are $22. Um, you can still get them, pre-order them on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, they come in this black. Is, the, is this one? They come black, the urban camo. Uh, there's a dark blue version, which I did not get any of those. And I, I believe it's just those three versions. And I think they're all available on Big Bad Toy Store still. They come with um, four sets of hands. They'll come with the fist hands on. Then they have the two extended trigger fingers, two grip hands, and then the two um, open cupped hands. And the figures in black their hands are like black gloves. The camo ones are a little dark gray. <clears throat> and they all come with two heads. So they have a head with Caucasian paint and then one with black paint. So they come with two heads, which is cool. And they come with a stand. So no weapons come with them, but they have weapon packs available. And they're, I've done, I did a video or I took photos. The weapon packs come with 10 weapons three muzzle flashes, tons of uh, magazines. Uh, they're awesome, they're detail painted, that's what this gun's from. I mean, all these, they come, this is from the weapons pack. Uh, I think all these are. They're just awesome. I mean, it's like $13, $13 for 10 weapons. I mean, where do you get that? And they're hard plastic they're not the pliable flexi plastic that we get where weapons just bend out of place especially with like star wars black series so it's awesome these are super durable um i love it they keep their shape you know they are painted up nice and then they also have like um he has a backpack set which uh, I've got a couple backpacks on some of these guys. In the backpack set, it's um, I'll show you here. Comes with the three sets. They're in three different colors. 
there's a tan black and gray and then a, a green so you got the three satchels and then the um, two different kinds of backpacks and they come individually bagged so you got you know the three color the three in each so that's cool to gear up your um, Republic Guard troops which that's what these are so you can I got the backpacks for them and then like the green uh, the backpacks can go on your um, steel brigade also and fit those out so it's pretty cool um, I can't remember I think that set was I don't remember what that was and I think it's still available on Big Bad Toy Store still has uh, Keurig and Bone Collector Condor uh, the Swarm Troopers, Swarm Trooper Gear Pack, which I just got another one with the shield. And, you know, that's really cool. So they're still on there for pre-order. Um, last time I checked Valiverse's website, everything was so sold out. So hopefully Big Bad Toy Store, I mean, they're still allowing pre-orders to be placed. So hopefully they'll be fulfilling those. And I actually picked up a couple more um, Steel Brigade and different weapons packs because I'm like, these, oh, these are awesome. And I mean, like I said... There's some collectors I work, you know, I was telling those guys like $15 for all these weapons or, or no, they were 13 and they just were blown away. Cause they're like, man, you can't get them that good weapons like that in the 112 scale. So just want to do a quick video on that. So just make sure you're heating the, the figures up, um, before you're trying to do, you know, pop and swap in the hands or the heads, um, heat up the feet to get them on the stands and, you know, just takes... 15 seconds, whatever, um, but it's well worth it. They're great looking figures, just uh, a little tight so far. He said, hopefully the um, next waves coming out won't be as bad. And I don't even know if it affects all the figures in the first wave in, in this Kickstarter um, wave. Um, most of mine seem to be pretty tight. So just a caution, um, you know, get, I'm just using this because they're heated up with the gun and pulling those little hands off can, you know, get your fingers hurting. So, yeah, I just want to do that. Make sure taking your time or you'll break a hand like I did. But everybody enjoy your holidays. Have a great weekend coming up. Um, hopefully you got all your shopping done. It's crazy out there. But everybody have a good one until next time. Take it easy.